Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. It's been a while, but I'm still around. Anyways, I thought I'd show you my finds for the new year, 2024. First of all, um, this uh, is a Facebook pickup I got locally, and it is a 100-year-old silver ashtray from China. And you can see there's the fat man dollar that was um, put into the ashtray. So it's from 1914. And this is Yuan Shi Kai, the, I guess, second, first or second president of um, the um, Republic of China. And I believe it's 90% silver. But of course, it's part of an ashtray, but I got it for a steal. So I think I paid $85 for it. Um, the vendor was asking, I believe, 100 and was able to give me a little bit of a discount. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how long I'll keep it. Uh, I do have some of these silver dollars and um, some older uh, dragon dollar ashtrays. Well, dragon dollar in, you know, installed in the ashtray, which I, I prefer. Um, but uh, yeah, I could eat, probably flip this for about two, two to 250 maybe locally. All right, and then here are the thrift store finds. Um, I got this, what do you call it, um, pin pointer. So it's brand new, never been used, and it was only $5.99. And I think the at the thrift store, they didn't know what it was. So they just gave it a random, you know, price. Maybe they thought it was like a Disney or um, Harry Potter magic wand or something. Who knows? But um, yeah, it's waterproof. And I looked it up. This sort of model, I think, sells for about $50 brand new. So I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to keep it. I already have a pinpointer. Uh, but a newer model, um, a, you know, a spare, a second one, maybe... Uh, Coin Picker Jr. or a Silly Coin Picker might go metal detecting with me again. So it'd be nice to have a second one. Um, if we do decide to sell it, maybe, I don't know, $30 to $40 locally. All right, so that was pretty cool. And this, all right, I think, well, most of these were like Salvation Army thrift store. Uh, well, pretty much all of them. Um, this was pretty cool. Um, it was in the miscellaneous junk bins and it was only $2.99. And sure, it has a whole bunch of Chinese on it, but there's some English. So it says, Candy Kaidi Supercharger Company Groundbreaking Ceremony Souvenir. So. I think a lot of people passed by this. It's like from 2015. Uh, passed by this because most of the time they're like just silver plated medallions. Like especially the um, ones from the um, uh, Beijing Olympics. But this one's a little different. This is a private company. And you know what? If someone actually took the time to look and read the coin itself. So it says here. All right. Thank goodness for um, high school uh, science, all right, grade 10 high school science, um, which I sort of, sort of remember. Um, it says here, AG, AG meaning silver, 0.999, triple nine, right? So it's pretty much pure silver, 50 grams. And yeah, it says the same thing. Uh, Kaidi Supercharger Company, groundbreaking ceremony souvenir. And it shows a car's supercharger. Pretty cool. 
So it sort of makes sense. I mean, this would probably would have been like a VIP's souvenir. So it's not for the general public. Um, maybe for the investors or who knows, government officials. But it would make sense that they would have um, hired a um, mint or, you know, like a metal, I guess, medallion making company or whatever um, to make these um, out of uh, sterling silver or not silver, pure silver. You know, I guess this is sort of like a, like a bribe. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, something that they'd be willing to keep because it's, oh, it's precious metal, right? Something special. That was pretty cool. 50 grams of silver, that's like, well, in Canadian dollars, that's like 50 bucks, pretty much. And some collectible value. I think uh, I saw one of these online without the case. Uh, someone was asking like $99 Canadian, so 100 bucks. So it's basically uh, double um, spot value, I guess. And this, you know, at first, all right, this is from the year 2000 like celebrating the new millennium, millennium, yes, I said it right, uh, from Canada, from the post office. And it was originally issued at $8.99. And I remember getting these back in the day, you know, for the kids or future kids at the time. And uh, it, you know, you have like a little medallion that's sort of like, I think it's made by the Royal Canadian Mint. Um, it has no denomination. It's just a little souvenir, but it looks just like a quarter and it comes with three stamps Usable stamps. I think one is like a permanent stamp. One's 95 cents and another one's like 45 cents so and a postcard. So I paid like 99 cents for this and I get at least double my money back in postage Plus a cool little medallion. Um, I actually passed by this like, all right, first of all, I saw it. I thought, oh, I already have a few of these. Um, and after a couple days, it was still there. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, no one wants it. I'm going to pay the 99 cents. Worst comes to worst, I'll use the stamps and mail something. I don't know. But I thought maybe I could flip it for 10 bucks you know, or lump, you know, um, lump it together uh, with other coin related items and, you know, sell it. So I picked it up. It was a cheap pickup. And today I picked up this from a, another Salvation Army in the older area. And it's a mirror and it is Let's see, it is signed. All right, it's going to one second while I look for the signature. All right, it is signed right here. See that? Sterling, 925, and some other symbols. 499, and it is a huge mirror. Uh, it is monogrammed it's monogrammed with a g it looks like a g um but it's got to have at least i know it's it's filled with like some sort of cement but to, even as a shell there's got to be at least an ounce of silver in this at least right so for five bucks and canadian dollars 30 about 30 dollars of silver as an antique this is like i guess considered like art deco like 1930s so i could probably sell this for 80 bucks maybe even up to 100 dollars. so if i decide not to keep it you know there's definitely profit and then i found this right before closing at another location today um yeah it is a ink blotter for back in the day when people used to write letters with the pen. $2.99, antique. Uh, there's some enameling. So this is Art Nouveau. So we're talking about like 
1910, somewhere in between there. And it has this little um, letter opener. Pretty cool. And I saw online something just like this it was um, about $40 Canadian. So once I get a little bo bored with this, um, maybe I'll just flip it, throw it up, you know, sell it locally. I don't like doing the eBay thing anymore. It's just too complicated and uh, really rather just sell locally, you know, uh, product in hand, cash in hand. That's it. No complaints. Deals done. Never see them again. All right. And also picked up this at the same time, right before closing. It, I wasn't sure if it was Gucci, but I looked it up and there were some online. So you got that very famous stripe of theirs. And um, one um, eBay listing said that this was like from 1920s, which I highly doubt it. It's leather. And yeah, it was only $3.99. So maybe I'll just keep this for a little while. But at the end of the day, I probably would flip it. I mean, it's sort of a cool piece to put on a shelf. So you got a little, little cup. I don't know, is this Bakelite then, if it's that old? You know, I'm just thinking it's probably more like 19, 1950s, 1960s, my guess. But there's really not that much information online about these. But who knows? But I was thinking, can I turn $3.99 into, I don't know, let's say $150 Canadian? Maybe? Hopefully? Oops, almost forgot one last thing. Actually, the best thing. Uh, found this at the um, thrift store as well. Fresh off the cart when they were rolling it out. So this is a Pomeranian dog. And at first I had a feeling of what it was, but wasn't sure. But when I looked at the edges and felt the quality, um, it was very crisp. This is heavy crystal. And I thought, hmm, who is known for heavy, fine crystal with figures and frosted you know, crystal? And then I looked for the um, markings. Well, have a look at this. There is a signature. It just the quality shouted out at me. If you could read, La Lique, France. And this was only $2.99. I could not pull out my cash fast enough. Anyways, this is worth at over $300 Canadian. And I looked all over, there was no chips, uh, no cracks. It was perfect, in perfect condition. And it is so cute. But this was a really awesome find. There you have it. So it's been a while since I posted, but uh, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And Happy New Year. Coin Picker out.